I'm Glenn Young, Amazon's Fitness Magazine. Celebrate the female physique, amazonsfitmag.com. And as promised, I'm in Greensboro at the Invictus Gym and Lynn Centino, owner, as promised, I told you I was coming, so I it know. looks great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it was a, it was an idea, right, when we talked last yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. And it was just starting, and uh, this is just a temporary spot because we've got the bigger one coming. So, so you'll keep this location as well? Uh, or just, ooh, we don't know. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just going to hold on to everything here, and then once everything gets open, we're going to move everything over. Okay. Um, I'll be sure yeah. and come back. What's going to be your yeah. total square footage? That one is going to be just about 4,000 square feet. It's just a little bit under 4,000 square feet. Um, we haven't started building it yet, but those are the plans. Okay. Um, so uh, it, this space is 1,500, so mm -hmm. like two and a half times this size. Yeah. So we squeeze in a lot of stuff in here, so we're going to put a whole lot in there. I'd say. Oh, yeah. So are you doing uh, competitive fitness, competitive training, but lifestyle as well? Everything, yep. So uh, all across the board, because not everybody wants to be a competitor. I mm -hmm. will say this, though. Once they start losing weight and they start seeing those they changes, the fever. I mean, <laughs> it always goes down that road. Like, I was thinking about doing it. Mm -hmm. Like, of course. So, uh, but both, right? Competitors, uh, lifestyle, and even people with injuries and, and, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, med some kind of, uh, you know, uh, contraindications that you know that make it difficult for them to train uh, so they can come in and come talk to me and uh, we'll get you we'll get you doing right Good. so I was working with your client today yes what's her first name faith faith Tiope. 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 yes there we go yes. we'll make sure I got it right she's from the Philippines right? that is correct okay so she just took national did nationals last she weekend did. in Texas what was your overall give me your coaching perspective what you saw uh, with well, the nationals is huge show. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's very busy, very crowded, and and it is fast. So mm -hmm. because you've got so many competitors, it's in and out. So it's being able to uh, immediately address uh, little things that got, that have to get you know corrected immediately. Right. Uh, luckily for Faith, she follows the plan. Um, I just don't have any issues with her. She, right. you know, if I if I lay out a, a plan, she sends me photos. We get her biofeedback, and I say, okay, this is what's going to work. She's on it. She's on it, and she, I mean, she just looks awesome. So she was dialed in perfectly. And it's always great when athletes follow the coach's plan. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you know what's even better is when they see the results. Right. Like, this happened. Look look at this. There you, you know? go. And exactly. I said, that's it. You just follow the plan. You have no choice but to but to be successful. So will you be competing in 2024? Uh, you know what? That's going to be rough. With the gym and everything. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I, I, I would love to. I mm -hmm. love the process. I love going into, you know, and, and watching the physique change. Um, but I just I feel like I won't be giving enough to my clients. Right. Um, if I start a prep and then uh, everything with with the gym and one getting built, I don't know how I can balance that. Mm. So um, it's, it's up in the air. I'm not right. going to write it off because um, if I get to a really good spot where right. maybe I have some uh, employees kind of navigating this situation mm -hmm. uh i might be able to do that but for now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna see how everything goes and of course you are a figure pro so because faith was also a figure was that easier as you know it more or you know it all I'm much Oppie, more but passionate what's you, yeah it. i was gonna say yeah when, you like well, training your own I, you know I love, I love all of it I, uh -huh. all of it is just fascinating to me and to watch the figures and shapes uh change over time uh but being figure and having started off in figure from the beginning right. and still being in figure and being able to just give her everything i know just continue to feed her with everything that i that i've thought of that i've gone through that i you know things that can make the shape look better it's just uh I, it's passionate i'm passionate about that and it's mm -hmm. exciting to watch another figure competitor rise up right. you know so uh, that's exciting so coming up the charlotte pro-am yes you got a number of competitors competing i've got a few people, tell me a little bit about them. i've got a few people asking about uh competing uh all on the amateur side mm -hmm. um got a guy that's wanting to hit the stage for uh, bodybuilding he looks great and mm -hmm. it's a great opportunity so uh that's in the works uh i've got two figure competitors and a bikini competitor already started prep so you know what? I think it's going to be a good turnout. Uh, you know, they've been working with me for years, mm -hmm. so watching them change and develop, and uh, they they were great at it last year. They did, you know, they pulled in this year some uh, some excellent uh, placings. So I feel like going into this year, we're going to do even better. So Just they're already deep in prep. So I've got. Well, you know what? Just one weekend. One weekend. <laughs> okay, we, it just we, started. we just started. We're dipping yeah. our toes. And so we got till April. Yeah, I think, sure I think it's the first yeah. week of yeah. April. Yeah. April fifth. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. So. It's yeah. gonna be pretty exciting. Ooh. You ain't got far to go. You down here in Greensboro, That's so right. 
That's right. It's like a it's like a home game. I That's it. I just jump time. right over there, hang out with my friends. So, what are your plans for Faith? Is she gonna take some time off, or are we looking at you know what nationals later on this year, maybe, or what do you think? I think the best thing for her to do is to improve. You know, right. she's got an excellent physique. She's got such a great foundation, and actually, the best foundation that you can have is mm -hmm. being able to follow the plan being able to execute all the way through. She, she's already proven that. So now mm -hmm. we just got to come back with more size and become more competitive with people in her, her category. Because, you know, once we get to nationals, we're, we're working against everybody from yeah. all over. Yeah. So, and they're Everybody's big. trying to get the pro card. That's right. And it only gets bigger That's from there. That's it. And so that the, first pro show. A, a lot of those people put in a lot of time, a lot of years. I know mm -hmm. I did. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're extremely competitive. So uh, the goal is to become undeniable. We step on stage, we, we are undeniable. You have no choice. Last question. What is the prime length to get a competitor ready? Obviously, it varies by body types and varies on the person in the yeah. cave, but what's the ideal length of a, of a training regimen to get ready for a show? So my goal is 16 weeks. Okay. My goal for everyone is 16 weeks just because it's not too much. You're not so far out there where, you know, we're, we're being, you know, You're rushing. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, not so not, not so short a time where the, the nutrition and training have to be so aggressive. Um, so if I can get 16 weeks, and w my goal is to actually be working with a lot of these competitors in, mm -hmm. in improvement season, so we keep those body fat levels low where we don't have to drive these, you know, super aggressive nutrition plans or, you know, overload PEDs or anything like that, you know, right. keep them safe, healthy, and keep them, the, the sport is longevity, you know, mm -hmm. we want to be able to come back into it over and over and over again and keep the athlete happy and healthy. And if you can do that, you have an athlete that's able to compete over and over and over again. So uh, 16 weeks, I think that's, that's just, uh, that's a good foundation. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to go a little bit more if the athlete's a little bit more deconditioned, but typically most of the people I'm working with, they're, they're right about there okay. so i like 16 weeks it's a, it's a it's a good even number i got you mm. invictus gym close it out tell me about hours of operation when you think the new location newer location will be open you say you're probably not gonna keep this one probably not but, yeah okay. it's gonna be a lot there's a the new gym uh we're hoping so we're working with the city and the city you know uh you know i didn't even think about all the they permits take their there. time yeah, they yeah. take their time we just got uh, approved for our uh, our septic so mm. so it's baby steps you know yeah. little baby steps uh we're getting there but um the builders and everything that we're working with we're like our target date is end of next year okay so sometime around this time next year and we're hoping that we can have those doors open uh for everyone to start coming we'll in be back yeah but you I, got a location and, now and you're rolling so and yeah now we're rolling we're just you know it's a little it's it's not too bad it's a, it's a good size uh but definitely the other one i've got more competitors there and a lot more people and it'd be wonderful to have you there and come check us out i will i got some uh, i'll definitely come back and shoot your competitors too let me know when they're ready and myself too of course absolutely I'll, we want to get a whole team yeah yeah it'd be so great. let me know enjoyed it Greensboro, North Carolina, about a two-hour drive for me. So, yeah. Lynn Centino. Oh, thank you so much. You. I love you having you here. Yeah. It's Glad been wonderful. It. Thank you. I'm Glenn Young, Amazon's fitness magazine. Celebrate the female physique. Make sure that you subscribe to AmazonsFitMag.com.